the Bulgarian Makarov. Let's check it out. search of a good Makarov for a good while and these have come into the country and then they've dried up they've come into the country and they've dried up and every time they enter the country the price goes up I think originally when the Bulgarian Makarovs were coming in uh, they were running around the $150 range <laughs> and that's been a few years ago uh, but now these have risen uh, quite a bit and will continue to rise because they're just really exceptional. Um, the Bulgarian is a very well-made firearm, uh, but these were originally designed by the Russians. And Nikolai Makarov designed the Makarov pistol and really took a lot of cues from the Walther design. And these went into service in 1951 which it replaced the Takarov, and this is 7.62 by 2.5. Uh, a very powerful round. In fact, uh, it can defeat a number of different types of body armor, uh, especially in the past. Now, they've upgraded a lot of the body armor now, but this is a really hot round and just an excellent pistol in itself, made by a lot of the Soviet nations, or used by and issued to. Now I have a full review on the Takarov pistol, and uh, I'll have it annotated here and down in the description below. But the Makarov kind of came in as something a little more compact. Uh, the round wasn't quite as hot. It's the 9x18 Makarov round, compared to the 9x19 9mm Parabellum, which is typically our 9mm. But of course, first thing we're going to do is make sure that the gun is unloaded. And as you can see immediately, it does have the heel style mag release. It is eight rounds in one. I have this one loaded just to show you an example of what it looks like because it is open on both sides. Before you work the slide, you have to bring the safety down and then open it up and the gun is unloaded. Uh, this does have a decocker function uh, once you engage the safety. It does not have a magazine disconnect, so once the uh, gun is put back on fire, uh, it will fire. Now before I get too far into the review, uh, I did get this from AIM Surplus, and it's one of those places that I usually can get some really cool surplus firearms. Uh, the Makarov, again, is Bulgarian. Uh, they run $299 right now, and that is a great price because once these dry up, uh, the price will go up. And what's really cool about this is a lot of the companies out there that are selling these are only selling one magazine uh, for about the same price. I've even seen them for $329. This one does have the two magazines. It does have a really nice leather holster, and I mean, this holster is really excellent. Um, and then, of course, the cleaning rod. You have a lanyard that hooks right here on this little lanyard loop. And one of the things is it comes with two sets of grips. It comes with this kind of black aftermarket target grip, and then it comes with the Bakelite grips separate, uh, which that to me is really the classic look. Uh, one of the things about this pistol, though, is that when you get it, it is completely covered in Cosmoline. Now that helps to keep it looking like it does because this gun looks almost brand new. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's been fired, maybe test fired at the factory, but everything is so clean and the only thing I've noticed is maybe a little bit of wear right here around the muzzle, uh, maybe some holster wear. But other than that, this gun is in pristine condition. These are double single action and that means that when you pull the trigger, the hammer comes back into the rear position. Uh, but then on subsequent shots, the hammer will be in the rear position, and then every shot thereafter, uh, you can fire it on single action. One of the things about this trigger, even in the double action, is that it's pretty smooth. It's heavy, but it is smooth as butter. Um, the single action is even better. Right here, 
and then just a little bit of resistance before it fires. And um, it's just a really very well machined piece, which we'll look at a little bit more. Now it is an all steel frame. Uh, it's not one of the polymer guns, and so it is fairly weighty. Uh, in fact, it weighs 25.8 ounces, which is a little over one and a half pounds with the magazine. Uh, it does have a barrel that's three and a half inches in length, actually just a touch over. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like it's chrome lined uh, and even the chamber. Overall, the gun is six and a quarter inches in length. It's five inches in height, and that includes all the way up to the sight. And then it's one and one eighth inch in width with the safety. And without the safety, it's actually just a touch under an inch. The sights are standard military sights uh, with a, a notch in the rear sight and then a blade at the front. But really nice checkering all across the top of the slide. And I mean, this is a really well done, and this is going to keep glare uh, off the pistol when you're firing. One of the things about the safety is, is you pull it down towards you for fire and then push up for safe. Uh, and again, this will not function with it in safe. In fact, you can't pull the slide back, you can't pull the trigger. Serrations here on the slide, and they're pretty wide, and they're very easy to get to. And it is very smooth. I mean, you can tell the action is very smooth. Uh, these are very well-respected firearms. In fact, again, they've been in service uh, with Soviet bloc countries since the 1950s, 1951, and officially until 1991. Uh, but they are still in many arsenals and used with a lot of military units and with police units all over the world. Now the Makarov was designed in Russia, uh, but obviously Bulgaria, China, uh, East Germany, all those countries have produced the Makarov pistols. And there's a lot of countries that are still carrying these as their standard sidearm, including Vietnam and North Korea. And these still serve in all branches of the military all over the world in so many different countries. And the great thing is, is ammunition is plentiful and it will continue to be plentiful for a long time. Now this is a blowback design and it does have a fixed barrel to the frame, uh, very similar again to the Walther. The 9x18 Makarov is one of the hottest loads that you can use uh, with safety in the uh, blowback design. And that's one of the reasons why they designed the 9x18 Makarov round was to be able to be fired in a blowback design pistol because number one, the ease in manufacturing. It was, it's a very simple design. Number two, it's really cheaper to manufacture. So this really allowed them to be able to make more pistols for less money. It does have a slide release and on the last round, the gun will hold open. And right here it is. Of course, you can bring it down and into place. Now we're going to disassemble the pistol. Of course, the magazine's already out. Check to make sure it's unloaded. Uh, take your trigger guard and pull it out and then just over, just a touch. Uh, and then bring your slide back and then raise up the rear of the slide and then you can just let it go forward. Uh, here we have our recoil spring and then of course you can see the fixed barrel design. It is attached. Now, these are typically more accurate because the barrel is completely stable. There's no movement to the barrel. And uh, that's with most of your blowback type pistols. Of course your recoil spring and then your slide, which this slide is very well machined. The bluing on it is really nice. Uh, the marks in here, now there are some machining marks inside, but really this is a military surplus pistol. This is an issue pistol. So these are not made for cosmetics. They're made to function. Now a number of the parts serve dual purposes and the slide release actually is also the ejector. The trigger guard is also part of your takedown tool. The mainspring, which runs right here, not only affects your hammer, but also your trigger. And the sear spring is for your slide stop, your ejector, and your return spring. And then on the magazine, this little lever right here catches to your slide stop, which activates it. And it's also connected to the follower. So a pretty cool design with a lot of features that interact, and I really love that. Reassembly, just make sure that your trigger guard is out of the way. Uh, put in your recoil spring, take the slide, bring your barrel through the slide, bring the slide all the way back onto the frame, bring it down, bring in your trigger guard.
One jagged hole, which I really expected after doing all my research, uh, this gun just shoots very accurately. And with the heft of the gun, uh, the 9x18 is not really that bad. And some of the smaller models, like the P64, it can be a little more snappy, but with the heft of this gun, uh, it's just such a pleasure to shoot. One thing I thought was kind of cool is the discoloration with the safety and the hammer, and I've noticed that on a number of them. Uh, I'm not sure what the significance is in that, and it kind of actually matches a little bit of the Bakelite grips, which is kind of cool. Again, here is the lanyard loop. And one of the things you'll notice about the mag catch is it's recessed. And so it kind of keeps it out of the way and uh, keeps it from inadvertently getting hit. It's not that difficult to get a hold of with a little bit of practice. Just push and pull. The great thing about the Makarov pistol is that there were a lot of these imported and they have been very popular here in the United States. Uh, there are a lot of different holster options. There are a lot of different ammunitions out there. A lot of it imported, but also ammunition that's being made right here. Uh, so, And then even hollow point self-defense loads. In fact, this pistol uh, has really been well received for concealed carry, even though it's fairly heavy, uh, because it's just been typically very reasonable. Another Makarov pistol that I have that I really like is the Polish P64. Uh, you know, Poland did not go with the Makarov design. Instead, they did kind of their own thing. And really, uh, this is a very PPS uh, type or PPK type uh, pistol as far as the looks and the design. Much closer, actually, than even the Makarov. Uh, but it does fire the same round, the, the 9x18 round. Uh, but this is an exceptional little pistol in itself. Uh, it does hold 6-in-1, whereas you have 8-in-1 in the standard Makarov. Now, they did make some of the Makarovs in 10-round magazines and 12-round magazines with a wider grip. Most of the later Makarovs are the Circle 10, and the KP stands for the Production Series. This number here for this particular pistol means 1988, and then this is the 426 gun. Now, here we have the 9x18 Makarov next to the 7.62x25 Takarov round. As you can see, the, the case is much longer holds more powder. This is definitely a more powerful cartridge. Here we have the 9mm Parabellum on one side and the 380 ACP uh, right next to it. And as you can see, it really looks kind of close to the 380. And it is just a little bit wider than your 9mm and the 380. And so these are not interchangeable at all. Now typically these firearms, when they come into the country, uh, they're here until supply goes away. And as supply goes, demand increases and in scarcity, and then these go up in price. Uh, we've seen it over and over again. Um, I had been looking for a Makarov for a good while. And in fact, I got on AIM Surplus, I'm on their email list, and when I saw it come in, I got right in touch and went ahead and ordered one. So, you know, this is something that once they dry up, they're gone. Uh, and then hopefully you may get some from somewhere else. Uh, the importer of this one is the PW Arms, and that's out of Redmond, Virginia. Also got the Gecko ammunition from AIM Surplus as well. Uh, really cool brass cased ammunition uh, and of course they had that available on their website but there are a lot of different sources that carry the 9x18 Makarov and so to me ammunition should be fairly plentiful. So check out AIM Surplus. I think you'll find that they're always coming up with some really cool surplus firearms for all over the world and really very reasonable prices. Again, this one does come with two magazines which I've seen a number of places only selling one. And then it seems like that they have extras on their website. <laughs> so for $2.99, I think this is a great price. Two extra magazines, the holster, and uh, the extra grips, the lanyard, and the cleaning rod. Just a really cool piece of history, and yet very useful in today's modern world as a concealed carry. So the Bulgarian Makarov from AIM Surplus, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. good bulbar but a good bulvarian but a good and comrade no gun collection is complete without the bulgarian makarov
And as my good friend Dmitri, a PS Russia, would say, have a good day.